Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Luke 14 verse 11 For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 33 Just as I try to please everyone in everything I do, not seeking my own advantage, but that of many, that they may be saved. Romans 15 verse 2 Let each of us please his neighbor for his good, to build him up. Philippians 2 verse 5 Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 5 Love does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable or resentful. Galatians 5 verse 13 For you were called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. James 3 verse 17 But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. Colossians 3 verse 12 Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. 1 Peter 3 verse 8 Finally, all of you, have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind. Philippians 2 verse 4 Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 3 If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. 1 John 3 verse 16 By this we know love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. Ephesians 5 verse 2 And walk in love, as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Romans 12 verse 10 Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14 Let all that you do be done in love. 1 John 3 verse 17 But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? James 1 verse 27 Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained from the world. Matthew 5 verse 42 Give to the one who begs from you, and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. Galatians 6 verse 2 Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Romans 15 verse 1 We who are strong have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak, and not to please ourselves. 1 Peter 4 verse 10 
As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's very grace. John 13 verse 14 If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. Mark 9 verse 35 And he sat down and called the twelve. And he said to them, If anyone would be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. Hebrews 6 verse 10 For God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love that you have shown for his name in serving the saints, as you still do. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 Therefore encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. Romans 12 verse 20 To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink, for by so doing you will heap burning coals on his head. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Romans 12 verse 16 Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. 1 Corinthians 8 verse 9 But take care that this right of yours does not somehow become a stumbling block to the weak. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 19 for though I am free from all, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win more of them. Matthew 20 verse 28 Even as the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 24 Let no one seek his own good, but the good of his neighbor. Romans 14 verse 19 So then let us pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. 1 John 4 verse 11 Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Ephesians 4 verse 32 Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God and Christ forgave you. John 15 verse 13 Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 33 Just as I try to please everyone in everything I do, not seeking my own advantage, but that of many, that they may be saved. 1 Peter 5 verse 5 Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another, for God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Philippians 2 verse 3 Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Ephesians 4 verse 2 with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. Romans 12 verse 21 Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. 1 Thessalonians 3 verse 12 And may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, as we do for you. Romans 15 verse 7 Therefore welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. Romans 13 verse 10 Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. 1 Peter 4 verse 8 Above all, keep loving one another earnestly 
since love covers a multitude of sins. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10 I appeal to you, brothers, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and the same judgment. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 9 now concerning brotherly love you have no need for anyone to write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another. Hebrews 10 verse 24 And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. John 13 verse 34 A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. 1 John 3 verse 23 And this is his commandment, that we believe in the name of his Son Jesus Christ and love one another, just as he has commanded us. John 15 verse 17 These things I command you, so that you will love one another. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 20 All the brothers send you greetings. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Romans 12 verse 15 Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. Romans 14 verse 13 Therefore let us not pass judgment on one another any longer but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 11 Finally, brothers, rejoice. Aim for restoration. Comfort one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4 Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant. John 13 verse 35 By this all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Colossians 3 verse 14 And above all these put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Hebrews 13 verse 1 Let brotherly love continue. 1 John 4 verse 7 Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. 1 Peter 4 verse 9 Show hospitality to one another without grumbling. Romans 15 verse 5 May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 25 That there may be no division in the body, but that the members may have the same care for one another. Ephesians 4 verse 16 From whom the whole body joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped, when each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. 1 Peter 3 verse 15 But in your hearts honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and respect. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 13 And to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 18 Therefore encourage one another with these words. Romans 14 verse 1 As for the one who is weak in faith, Welcome him, but not to quarrel over opinions. 2 Timothy 2 verse 24 And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome but kind to everyone, 
able to teach patiently enduring evil. Ephesians 4 verses 1 to 2 I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. 1 Corinthians 8 verse 1 Now concerning food offered to idols, we know that all of us possess knowledge. This knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. Hebrews 10 verses 24 to 25 And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Galatians 5 verse 26 Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 to 4 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. Colossians 3 verse 13 Bearing with one another and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. 1 John 3 verse 14 We know that we have passed out of death into life because we love the brothers. Whoever does not love abides in death. James 4 verse 11 Do not speak evil against one another, brothers. The one who speaks against a brother or judges his brother speaks evil against the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law but a judge. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 11 for it has been reported to me by Chloe's people that there is quarreling among you, my brothers. James 5 verse 9 Do not grumble against one another, brothers, so that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. 1 Peter 1 verse 22 having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. Romans 12 verse 9 Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 15 See that no one repays anyone evil for evil but always seek to do good to one another and to everyone. 1 John 4 verse 20 If anyone says, I love God, and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. Hebrews 3 verse 13 But exhort one another every day, as long as it is called today, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 14 And we urge you, brothers, admonish the idle, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with them all. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 33 So then, my brothers, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. 1 John 4 verses 7 to 8 Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. Matthew 16 verse 24 then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, 
Let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me.